Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing Krillin. Krillin? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm good with Krillin for right now. Like, Krillin, it was dumb this episode. Like, completely and utterly dumb. Because they... They were cautious ever since they got here to search for energy, find out where somebody is, and then avoid that area, right? So, in, like, what way, shape, or form would he just get a boost in his own power, and then he'd try and fly back to Gohan to get him... Why, why would he fly back without just sensing anything? That That's not how they function. They sense things regardless of if they're trying to. They feel the energy. So him being stronger would not take away his ability to sense energy. And there were two giant power levels that were flying after him, right? They don't directly, like... They can sense power levels. They can sense them better in the direction and how far they are from them if they focus on it more. But you would you would know a general power level of somebody the closer they are to you or even uh, the stronger the power level. So all the freezer force, they don't know how to hide their power. So maybe, yeah. It's a little bit understandable that Fre uh, Vegeta was able to follow Krillin for a little, but once you add Zarbon behind him, it's com like it's completely different. He literally should have been able to feel that. We know definitively that um, they were able to sense Vegeta from from really far away, right when he was fighting, and they knew that they can sense Frieza. Before they even saw the guy, they were able to sense that huge amount of power. So why would him powering up be like hinder his ability to sense other energies? Like you would still feel it like you would like you would get the sense of the power going because literally uh, I'm pretty sure. They actually showed it. Krillin and Dende were flying and then they just stopped flying because he felt the power and then they went down. It was him, Krillin, uh, and uh, Gohan. They flew down because they felt the power. So no matter how much of your own power you're using, you can still feel other power. So it was kind of dumb in that regard. And he basically led Vegeta back to his camp with Zarbon. Yeah, he's a uh, I just drew him I just drew him cuz of his stupidity. So, uh let's get into this.
Krillin. Mr. This is my Dragon Ball. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yes, somebody is going to take it from him. And knowing him, he won't sense the energy source of that person. It's, oh my god, that's so aggravating. It's really, really, really aggravating to even like, to constantly think about it. Because these guys are, are, okay, these guys are earthlings, right? They're earthlings that grew up being, like, not all of them grew up being able to sense power levels, but like, like they are like the originators of being able to sense a person's power level. Like, that's like, that's their thing. So for them to be known for that and then have them have the jump on, like, get the jump on the, uh, have somebody get the jump on them because they weren't doing the thing that they're really known for, it's kind of, it's kind of weird because they literally showed up there, um, had their power like you know like maxed out like they they weren't suppressing it because they were like okay this is a this you know this trip is this trip is slight you know and then they're like okay we sense energies here they weren't trying to they just felt strong energies that were there right so then they lowered their power enemies couldn't sense their power level anymore because they lowered them enough to where they're you know like low apparently that they can be classified as fish but um they can still sense other people right so for krillin to get a power up to then be like oh like i was too distracted by my power to focus on energies around me your power is not that strong to where you can't feel Vegeta following you. Krillin's power level at most is like 3,000. At most. Because it was 1,000 on Earth when they died. And then they went and they trained. A little bit, I'm guessing. Prior to them getting... uh to go to Namek I'm saying I'm thinking that they trained a little bit maybe it's unsure or did they just leave right away who cares right they trained a little bit in their head so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt by saying that he's 3,000 okay so if I if I grab him and I bring his power level up to 3,000 Vegeta's power level was 15 relatively 15 13 when he fought Goku on Earth. So if we were to take that power. And then like I don't want to say double it. But add to it right. Uh, based on him losing to Goku. And then coming back stronger right. And then losing to Zarbon. And then coming back stronger from that. His power level would at, le- at least at least be 25-30 right. So you take 25, 30, and you put that behind somebody with a power level 3,000. I'll even say 4,000. Who cares, right? My point is your power level does not dwarf anything that is on that planet related to Frieza, okay? And what I mean by that is your power might be higher than Bulma. It might be higher than most of the Namics. Maybe aside from Nell, right? So you're strong, yeah. But everything in for like Frieza's force, except for like the fodder dudes, obviously. I'm talking about like the main forces. All those big hitters. If any of those guys are following you at the same speed you're flying, the reason why you were distracted by your power is because you used your max power to fly as fast as you can. You said that. You said, I'm going to be back with this power. I can get back to Gohan and be back before a blink. And then he went off, right? Sped past, you know, started destroying things as he was flying, right? So it's implied that with how fast he was flying, he uh, was using his max strength. So that's why he lost focus. Vegeta behind you flying the same speed as you are like I would say 
you would be able to feel that energy overwhelm your energy and following behind you. There is no chance you are so distracted by your own small energy that you can't feel somebody that has energy like that's insane like that we've seen people in dragon ball not be paying attention to somebody's power level and then once somebody starts rising their power level they you see the character have a flash in their eyes and then they turn in the direction of where the power level is coming from right like that's vegeta knew zarbon was behind him how is vegeta better at sensing power than krillin When he just learned it. Well, actually, let me take that back. (laughs) Because it's Vegeta. He's a Saiyan. So it's different. But Krillin should not be like that dwarfed by Vegeta by this point. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section just to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.